hey guys this is balu and today in this video i will show you how i created this scene in blender easily so for this project i have used free assets which are available online i will leave a link in the description if you want to use the same now without any further ado let's start today's video so here i'm using blender 3.4.1 nice so first of all let's start this by adding an object so go to this add mesh select this ecosphere so here we got this ecosphere right so come to these options here and subdivisions i will increase this to 5 now right click and shade smooth now let's move this ecosphere just onto this grid so further press g on the keyboard z and hold control key and move it up so now this will be staying on the grid here nice so now let's create a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here i will increase the scaling by pressing s on the keyboard and increase the scaling now let's add grass and flowering plants onto this plane so before adding that let's subdivide few times so press tab on the keyboard right click subdivide and here i will increase the count to 20 okay now again press tab to exit this edit mode so in order to add grass with flowering plants onto this plane here i will be using botanic add-on so you can check out the link in the description where you can download that add-on so press n on the keyboard so here we got this add-on right so in target the plane should be selected and just click on this plus icon and we got some categories like grass vines weed so here i will select the grass now here we can select any of the thing so i will select this with flowers and hit ok so you can see we got those flowers with grass added so in this i don't want this to be scattered all around this plane so i want this grass and flowers to be here in this portion only so for that we can do weight paint so click on this weight paint option and just weight paint the area where you want to have the grass and flowers so once the area is selected let's move to object mode once again now you can see we got only that area covered and let's increase the scaling a bit here like this and scale randomness i will increase this too yeah okay and now let's import our butterfly animation so here i got this animation from sketchfab download link in the description if you want to use the same so let's close this so press n okay now go to this file import it is a gltf file so select this gltf and let's select that animation file here so select the scene and import so we got that imported so press s and increase the scaling and you can see we got that butterfly here so press 7 on the top view and i will rotate this here hold control key and let's rotate this here like this and i think we need to reduce the scaling so press s and reduce the scaling here so be on the first frame so let's place this on the sphere so press 1 on the keyboard for frame view and let's place this butterfly on the sphere here okay so now if i play this you can see we got this butterfly animation nice so now let's move on to the render viewport so click on this render viewport here so color i will change this to black complete black here and click on this color dot and add environment texture so add this environment texture so here i will be using hdra which i have downloaded from Bali heaven select the hdra and import so now you can see we got light in the scene along with the background so now we need to apply glass material onto this sphere so select the sphere so instead of going to this material options i will use blender kit add-on to add material so this blender kit is free to download download link in the description so come to this blender kit option and search for glass and change it to material so come to this material select that material options and let's search as glass here and here we got the options so from here i will select this glass which has this water drops on it just click on this object so it will be loaded onto this object instantaneously so now you can see we got that material added on the sphere and if you want to tweak the settings you can come to this material properties and here we can tweak the settings so roughness i will leave this to zero so now come to this render settings here enable ambient occlusion distance i will change this to five and enable screen space reflections and the refractions also enable that one so now let's add camera into the scene so go to this add camera so Control alt 0 to see through camera press n on the keyboard come to this view options and lock to 3d cursor and lock to camera camera to view so now we can adjust the camera here so i think this one is fine this visibility is fine 
so let's add depth of field so select the camera enable depth of field here expand it so focus i will select this butterfly so let it be on focus and f stop i will reduce this to 0.1 so now you can see the difference only the object which we have selected will be in focus and rest will be out of focus so now we are in ev render so if you want to render this in cycles you can do that the view will be better so if i change this to render settings and render engine i will change this to cycles and device i will select this gpu compute so now you can see the difference between ev render and cycles render in cycles we will get some realistic renders whereas in ev it will be good but it will not be as that much good as compared to cycles so if you want to render this out in cycles you can do that but it will take a lot time when compared to ev so i will use ev engine only so change this to ev and come to this render output properties so here i will leave this to full hd select this render and crop to render frame rate you can change it here i will leave this to 24 and output we can select here so here i have selected a folder where can i save this output files so file format i will change this to jpeg and quality 100 percent so now come to this render option and just click on this render animation so in this way we can create this kind of scenes in render easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye